right so it is time to get bootstrap you know better looking right our application has bootstrap in it now so now we have to make it a little bit better looking than it is right now because the way that it looks right now is not good so in other words if you had this and you left it like this and you know this is what you gave your client they'll they'll say no <laughs> i don't like this obviously because there's nothing in it all right it's just really unstyled and so we're gonna clean this up a little bit first thing i want to do is i want to get all this crap out because basically we're not really going to be using a whole lot of this i mean i'm probably going to leave the nav yeah i'm going to leave the nav in there but i am going to take these cards out because that was just an example to show you um how things uh, work um i do want to do some stuff here to this navigation so if you bear with me and i'm going to also hide this back here because i want you to see that mess there's no need for it i'm going to make this a little smaller so you can have uh, more room to see all right cool all right so um so this nav part what did they what do they mean by all this stuff so the container basically i shouldn't really have this container up here so i'm actually going to release that container class from there because i want the nav part to go all the way to the edge and if you see now see the nav part goes all the way from one end to another Okay, what the container does is it creates a um, a block center in the screen so that all not all your content always goes to the edge of the of the screen. We didn't really want that for some things. For some things you kinda want it to be center in the middle. But the nav bar and the footer, for example, they do need to get all the way to the ends. Alright, so one thing I'm going to do, let me just actually make it this big. So we're not going to have a search in the menu. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that search. So I'm going to look for that and there's this form right here. Most, because it has an input and a button, it's usually going to be a form. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Hit, there you go. And now there it is. So now I have this nav bar here, which is usually a logo and then this right here are um your menu items yeah menu items so okay so i hate these little lines i'm just gonna get rid of these hrefs for now actually i'm gonna make these hrefs um forward slash so highlight this highlight the double code to the bang and then do control d control d control d Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, and then I have a right back up one so you can get to the hash man, delete it, and then add this forward slash. Okay, that's it. So basically, what that does is now is every time you hit that, it goes to the root of the domain. So if your domain is www.lewis.com it will always go to there even if you are in a separate page further down anytime you tell it to go to that to that to there it will go to to that to the root if you put for example here like something like that then it will go to www.lewis.com slash about okay but we're not we only want it we're right now hard coding every link to go to the home page because Eventually, we're going to turn those into routes where we're going to have more pages and we're going to actually have a route that is going to direct that click to that page. But we're not going to do that just yet. All right, so I have this right here and I have this container fluid. Da, 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 and then there is the button. Where is it? The nav bar. Oh, right here. This is the nav bar. And then we have a toggler, which is what you see here right nap or toggler and okay just making making sense out of this so let's just so we can see where we are this right here is always good to have uh, comments to explain yourself what's going on so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to create command or uh, command or control and then the forward slash you know the this one this one right here command or control forward slash it gives you the ah it's reacted yeah i don't like this one let's let's just manually put it in there it's just write this 
just oh because that's right I did turn that into a react okay sorry my bad I I, I turned it into a react uh, thing there so it's technically a, a different type of file so so yeah command control forward slash sorry and then here you're gonna put a comment and this is only for mobile views and and then here I am going to copy that and put it there tab into it this is for this is for desktop views okay for the menu for the desktop views all right so what do I have here is the class now for class uh, all right so I am going to figure out why is it that it's not that it's over here so I don't recall I don't remember exactly how that happens but I believe flex base and collapse let me see if I remove this collapse okay ah okay then it doesn't do that so let me just put it back let me just take the Napa collapse only okay that's not it let me just take the collapse then that's not it all right so if I take that out then it won't work on the other way so what is it that is making it work mm, all right you know what the best way to do it is actually going to the their um, application and seeing it there so let's just go to the nav bar and find one that has the um, the stuff over to the side actually and then use that right here so this one has the nav right here and then it has the flex phone control and me too all right so I think that one and it's good that you're actually seeing me um, debug this because uh, part of um, um, part of programming is debugging and that sometimes takes a while so I see here that it says ME auto which basically means margin end it, it's this margin at the end is auto so I'm actually gonna move that to margin end 2 oh it was yeah it's already there margin end 2 and I'm gonna add the deflex what is it that they had deflex and me2 hmm that's weird let me too all right how about um aligned aligned items right justify justify content Justify content, right? Justify content and justify content and right, let me do it here. Display flex and then align items flex and and justify. That's because I already added here on the flex end. I added it as a class, that's why. Get rid of that. And flex. It's definitely on this one. Let me add that to the top instead. Okay. Let me 
make sure that that works it's still showing down there why is it showing down there is it because of the display it's because of the display okay so get rid of that display get rid of this display class all right now it works all right so what did i do so as you can see this right here this uh that tools here is a is an amazing tool that you need to be you know able to use and this is probably going to cause uh this video to cut short but <laughs> uh, you know it happens so I was able to use this element style box at the very top of the CSS uh, dev tools here to add CSS properties to make sure that I adjust accordingly to you know or do what I want to do without actually affecting my code itself because this is working temporarily only on this window while the window is open if I refresh which I'm not going to if not yet if I refresh then I will lose all of this that I just did none of this is permanent okay but it allows me to test things before I actually commit to them so I know for a fact that I need to add these three properties to the collapse nav bar okay and I don't know if this will still work with the auto so I'm gonna put that back on auto as it normally as it was before just to see if it would uh, see the auto also needs to go away so now that I know that I can come over here and change that to a 2 but then I also need to add that to the nav bar collapse. Now I wonder if, before I do that, I wonder if they have a nav bar right. Nav bar end. Mm. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do a two here. I forgot. I wonder if they have a nav bar end. So if I block this up, no. So what about a nav bar right? No, they don't. So they don't have a nav bar right. I did that by, um, I did that by putting it, you know, basically double clicking inside the class here and then just typing it right in. If it exists in Bootstrap, it would basically just do something to the screen and it would show here as well. But it didn't. That means that Bootstrap doesn't have it. So because Bootstrap doesn't have it, I am going to then use make my own nav bar uh, right, which is going to be a class that I'm going to make up. And that class, what is that? Get rid of it. All right. And I and that class is going to be added to my CSS, and it's going to be dot for class nav bar nav bar nav bar right. I want to call it yeah not by right and then in there in there I'm gonna add these three that I had done before so I'm gonna copy that and paste them in here make sure that it, and save that so once I save that go into my app.js make sure that I save this also make sure that I change that too make sure that my nav bar right is up there save that as well and then now when i refresh this there you go it's there it, it, it was so fast you didn't see it but it's there so if i look at the nav bar now if i look at what um where, 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 where i was before you see how the nav bar right now is actually added in there and the me is also changed to the two and the nav bar right has those classes that i added which are right here and they're part of my index file Anytime you see some CSS here and you see a file here, that means I added it. If you see something like um, something like this, for example, that you don't recognize, it's usually if you hover over it, you can see that it comes from somewhere else. It's mostly a bootstrap class or another library. And if you see something that says user agent style sheet, that means that it's something that the browser is doing automatically for you and because they have their own particular defaults and things like that that they want you to use in case you don't have a css file but most people do have a css file so all this stuff right here that says usa agent you user agent style sheet will eventually get um re rewritten or whatever but just to make sure that everything works um this right here i haven't really programmed this so that's why it doesn't work yet but um i turned it into a um, into a link that goes to home so if I put that back, then um, then there should be a little bit more 
well anyway I haven't really programmed it yet so you're not gonna see it work just now all this stuff's gonna go away anyway so I wouldn't worry about it too much I'm gonna put that back where it was so I get rid of the nasty line and um, so here we are now we have the uh, we have the nav bar and it basically works as a um, an, an icon that you can open and eventually we're gonna program that so that it actually works and we're gonna add color to this stuff and all that but I'm gonna cut this short right now I was hoping to get some more colors and stuff like all this instead we ended up just basically doing some debugging but I'm not going to edit this or or remove it I'm actually gonna include this because I want I wanted you to see how to use the this screen right here for debugging and how I wanted you to see that it's a realistic thing to come up with a bug and have to deal with it um, most of the videos that you're gonna see out there from other um, developers in YouTube and things like that they show you their application being built flawlessly all the way through that's because they're cutting out a lot of the um, errors and debugging and things that they have to deal with and they don't want to pester you with it or they don't want to look like they have issues with it <laughs> but uh, they trust me they do and and like I said debugging is part of the job you cannot get away from that so that's why I, I am going to keep this because I wanted you to see how I dealt with it in order to fix it and I probably not even done in fact I know for sure I'm not done because of this drop down is not working yet but I don't want this video to get too far eventually we'll deal with this when we get there all right so I'll see you on the next one.